and thank you for choosing the Kalepi Thermocon Thermal Storage Tank. This quick installation tips video will help give you a general overview of what you need to know regarding the installation of your Thermocon storage tank. The Thermocon storage tank is a fully insulated porcelain lined tank that can be used in either domestic water applications or hydronic applications to store heated or chilled water. In hydronic applications, they provide buffering to reduce short cycling of your heating or cooling source. They can also be piped to provide hydraulic separation in those systems that require primary secondary pumping. If you are using the Thermocon storage tank to store potable water, you will need to use anode rods like we've got here and check them regularly. We offer the Thermocon in four different sizes, 25, 50, 80, and 119 gallons. First, let's start with a 25 gallon tank, which has a variety of different connection points. On the top, you'll have three connections, one of which is going to be three quarter, and the last two are going to be inch and a half. These connection points are great for use of the wall hump boiler where you'll be putting the Thermocon just below it, which is a great space saver. If you are going to be using it in that application, you'll need to take advantage of the included dip tube that comes with the 25 gallon model. This dip tube will be used to connect your return back to the boiler so that way your boiler draws cool water off the bottom of the tank. The three quarter inch connection on the top of the Thermocon is a great place to add a nice Kalefi air vent and from there you could also tee off of that connection to connect up a pressure temperature relief valve or an expansion tank. On the side of the 25 gallon tank you'll have four inch and a half connection points, two on each side, that can be used to connect up to your system or actually you can connect your boiler or chiller there as well. In heating applications you're going to want to use the top connection for your supply and the bottom connection for your return and vice versa in chilled water applications. On the front of the 25 gallon tank, you'll notice a 3 quarter inch connection, which is great for putting in a temperature sensor for your system. And in the front, you'll also notice that there is going to be a drain valve for periodic cleaning or draining of the tank. The larger 50, 80, and 119 gallon Thermocon storage tanks have a little bit different configuration, so let's go over those. On the top of these larger tanks, you're going to have three 3 quarter inch female NPT connections, which are great for connecting up an air vent in hydronic applications or a pressure temperature relief valve. And in domestic water applications, you can also use an anode rod to protect the tank. On the sides of these larger tanks, you're going to have seven 2 inch female NPT connections, which allow you to connect up your heating or cooling source as well as your system. You'll notice of these seven ports that two are going to be on one side and two are going to be on the opposite side and you're going to have three two inch ports on the front. This is great if you need to have your connections come out in a 90 degree angle as if you're putting the Thermocon tank in a corner to save space. With so many ports on these tanks it's likely that you're going to have some unused connection points. In that case we actually offer a two inch plug to plug any unused connection points. We also offer a 2 inch by 3 quarter inch reducer bushing in case you want to use it to connect up something like a, a dry well for a temperature sensor. For more information about the Thermocon storage tank and their use in applications like thermal storage, buffering, or hydraulic separation, be sure to look at our hydronics journals, specifically issues number 1 and our most recent issue, number 17. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any further questions, please be sure to contact your wholesaler, your rep, or us directly. And thanks for watching.